Main Avenue West in Sundry is a pretty busy road. Lots of traffic makes it a good spot to sell custom-built steel buildings. 74-year-old Myron Thompson likes the job, but keeps him out of his wife's hair. Well, they are solid. You might not recognize him without his trademark Stetson. But once the conversation turns to politics, for example, take the town of Sundry's organizational chart. They got at the top the council. Well, the council shouldn't be at the top. It should be the ratepayers. That's the top of any organizational chart. Council, you work for the people of this town. There's no mistaking, straight talking, no nonsense, former reform MP Myron Thompson. Still ready to take on the bureaucrats. All the boys in the Ivory Towers in Edmonton say you can't do it. Well, you can't. And I said, well, if you elect me, just watch me. I'll be out there riding in a grader with them suckers. You heard right, if he's elected. Thompson is running for town council in Sundry, about 90 minutes northwest of Calgary. A few people to sign my nomination paper and I'm back in, back in the race. After 15 years in federal politics, Thompson retired in 2008. Now he's back, looking to return to the town council seat he first won back in 1974. Well, it's kind of like old home week, but it's... Uh, it's it's good. I think that I have some things I'd like to contribute to this community. It's my home and I love this place. And I think there's room for lots of things to happen that could make it even better. There's these rocks to stop and gather up and it forces... Getting on council isn't a make work, keep busy project. It, wants to go. it really wants to be over there. That's, that's where it used to be. We've got a problem here and we need to get it fixed before it becomes a tragedy. One of Thompson's main priorities is to protect the town from the eroding banks of the Red Deer River. The river took a 90 degree turn, as you can see through here. It runs right into that bank. A severe flood in 2005 changed the river. Its course diverted in several spots. Eroding banks have forced the closure of a pathway and threatened a nearby mobile home park. Engineers I've talked to, it's not a matter of if this is going to happen, it's a matter of when. And of course, you know, some of the storms like I had in Medicine Hat this last year, if you ever had something like that, well, it could be really devastating. You know. If elected, Thompson will be calling on the provincial government to help out. Uh, you know, it's difficult, it seems like, when you're in a small town to get the ear. Yeah. And I think I can get their ear. I think he'll do a wonderful job. Lori Bucken yeah. fondly remembers Thompson, both as her high school teacher and as the mayor. He's a wonderful person. Yeah. Yep. His family is, he's a, fa he's a family man. He's uh, just a great guy. Excellent. Excellent. He's got lots of energy and uh, his heart, no matter what he goes in for, he gives it. That trail used to be quite a ways inland and now it's... While the battlefield may be different from the federal is. scene, the polarizing take no prisoners Thompson Start is always locked and loaded area. for a political fight. Well, I've always got something to say, it seems like, when it comes to this political scene. It'll be quite a catch, eh? With files from Tony Saskis, Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com, Sundry.